This theatre group is rehearsing a new play set in a future dangerous world when an Athenian rocket has to discover a new planet on which Greeks can live. The performance pokes fun at national flaws, which have convinced many Germans that Greece should not be helped out of the crisis, such as corruption. Most young Greeks hate bribery, but can't avoid it when, for example, they need to pass a driving test. I had to take a test for the drive license, and my drive teacher told me that uh, if I'm not going to pay, they're going to make it very hard for me, the inspectors. It's difficult to shoot for the stars when opportunities are restricted by a dwindling economy and it's feared there'll be a brain drain. It's really hard for me to think that it's, you know, it has finished, but uh, I think that for uh, five or ten years things are going to be really hard for everyone. Although worried the actors don't want to be consumed by the depression and fear sweeping the country, they see this as a historic moment to cleanse Greece. My feeling is that I am a, a healthy cell in a un very unhealthy organism. Crisis is a Greek word and it means uh, judgment. So it's an opportunity to be judged and uh, things are going to be judged and what is good and what is uh, uh, virtuous will survive this crisis and will create the Greece of the 21st century. What this crisis has exposed is a deep seam of hostility and resentment. The European Union is a fractious one. And what this troop would like to say to the Germans is that not all Greeks are idle and corrupt. Markham Brabant, BBC News, Athens.